as I said, Michael, yeah, really um, got off to a poor start. But, uh, well, you know, I won the fans over and thank goodness they supported me along the way. And as I said, a lot of them became good friends of mine. I really enjoyed my spell at Corinne. The people were fantastic. I couldn't have asked for any more from the board of directors and everyone connected with the club. Freddie Monin in particular, Club Sagary was fantastic. Anything I ever needed or wanted, he was always there for me, as were the rest of the, the board members. But um, as I say, we pushed on. We got to the final of the Irish Cup in 2003. I remember it so well as if it was yesterday. I had a great squad of players. And uh, as I say, the club had supported me and players likes of Rory Hamill coming on board, Tony Gorman, you know, to, to, to name two, Gareth McCauley came in and others and uh, we, we put together a good side actually we won the Irish Cup we finished second in the league and that one still gets to me I feel that we should have maybe pushed on and maybe have won the league that year but it wasn't to be but uh, we didn't look back we uh, prepared as I told the players two or three Irish Cup it's coming to Korean and I really got that into each round of the cup I said and this is the next stage this is the next step we're going to push on to the final and we got to the final of the cup and uh, with a great day a uh, great fantastic team talk we got together well we went out the players were very very confident going out and taking the taking the mighty Glen Torn, they were going for the uh, quadruple of the fourth trophy that season. I think they maybe took the foot off the pedal a bit and and uh, rested a couple of players, but uh, that was their business. We were prepared to take them on, and on the day, a fantastic crowd from, from Korea. And I remember it so well, travelled down to the showgrounds, team bus was awaiting us, the fans were there in their, in their, uh, in their hundreds, and um, they gave us a good send-off. We went up to the chimney corner, where we had our uh, brunch, stroke lunch. I uh, went there for a reason that uh, when I played for Cliffville, we won the Irish Cup in 1979. And uh, that's where we prepared. So, you know, I'm, uh, sometimes I can take these things on board and uh, that's what I wanted to do. I'm a bit superstitious at times. If I had seen one magpie on the pitch at a time, I thought, oh God, we're in for a bad day. If I had seen two, then it wasn't too bad. I remember saying to Frankie Parks, a very good friend of mine who was manager of Arts, we were just having a, a, a chat before the game and uh, I seen one magpie up at the other end of the ground and I said to Frankie, Frankie, have a look up there, which he duly did. I said, that's okay, that's us even now. We won that day as well. As as I say, the Irish Cup then in, in uh, 2 or 3, what a, what a night we had actually coming back to the... Uh, to the town, the, the, the hundreds of fans waiting us at the railway. And um, we had a great night in the Salmon Leap, a fantastic night, which which I uh, f found a bit groggy the following morning, as were, every, as were, were everyone else. Uh, we had such a, we had such a fantastic night.